may think what's in a name. The names of things and even of people may not have a great deal of significance for us. And yet names are not incidental. For the people of the Old Testament, names meant everything. They signified a person's entire orientation in life. That's why when someone received a new calling, their names were changed. We think of Abram to Abraham, Jacob to Israel, and even in the Gospel of Simon to Peter. The name of our community, therefore, is important. Being named a certain way brings with it a certain vocation. The name we bear brings with it a responsibility to show forth its meaning. This is why the feast day of our parish and school is important, because it becomes an opportunity each year to think again on who we are and who we are to become. We are the community of Our Lady of Dollars, Our Lady of Sorrows. This is how we are known. Being known this way, what then are we to be? And so might I reflect about this with you through a story. Be kind. Tanisha spilled grape juice yesterday all over her new dress. Everyone laughed. I almost did too. But mum always tells me to be kind. So I tried. I don't think it worked. I said purple is my favourite colour. I thought Tanisha would smile, but she ran into the hall instead. When she came back, snack time was over. She put on her art smock and didn't look at anyone. I almost told Tanisha that art was my favourite class, but I didn't want her to leave again. So I painted purple splotches and added some green until I had a bunch of beautiful violets. While I painted, I thought about Tanisha. Should I have handed her my napkin, let her borrow my sweatshirt, spilled my juice so everyone stared at me instead? What does it mean to be kind anyway? Maybe it's giving, making cookies for Mr. Rinaldi who lives alone, letting someone with smaller feet have my too tight shoes. It might, he might win races in them too. Maybe it's helping, putting dirty dishes in the sink, cleaning up over after Otis, our class guinea pig. He's a messy eater. Maybe it's paying attention, telling Desmond I like his blue boots, asking the new girl to be my partner, listening to Art Franny's stories, even the ones I've heard before. Being kind should be easy, like throwing away a wrapper or recycling a bottle or saying, thank you, bless you. My mum says the quickest way to be kind is to use people's names. Hey, Carla, what's new, Omar? Good afternoon, Rabbi Mandelbaum. Being kind can be hard too, even when you know what to do. Teaching someone something I'm good at is tricky even when I'm patient. And sticking up for someone when other kids aren't kind is really hard and really scary. Maybe I can't solve Tanisha's grape juice problem. Maybe all I can do is sit by her in art class and paint this picture for her because I know she likes purple too. Maybe I can only do small things but my small things might join small things that other people do. And together they could grow into something big. Something really big. So big that all our kindnesses spill out of our school, spread throughout town, travel across the country, and go all the way around the world. Right back to Tanisha and me. So we can be kind again and again, and again. I think this is what it means to be a place named after Mary, the mother of Jesus. Mary understands the hurts of others, and she holds these and attends to these and gives us the pattern by which we are to reach out to others. 
Our school, our classroom, must be the place that, that offers hope to those who may be hurting. We are to be a place where people can be struggling, but from where they can leave restored with possibility. And so let us pray. Mary, Mother of the Lord, you experienced overwhelming grief and powerlessness in the face of the pain endured by your son, Jesus. You bore his suffering in your soul. From the cross, he gives you as our mother too. Now you see in us the image of your suffering son. You long to aid us as you do your son. You are with us in what we suffer and with what we struggle to bear. By your maternal care, help us not to lose heart in the midst of whatever difficulties we have. In your companionship with us, may we find the courage to continue to make decisions for faith and for love. May we hear the murmur of hope within our hearts. Awaken in our hearts awareness of the suffering of others, especially to those nearest us. As we allow ourselves to be touched by the pain of others, stir within us the desire to be a companion to others in their needs. Inspire us to act always with creative and courageous compassion, so that leaving selfish ways behind and through our attention to the suffering of others, our world may be transformed by the pattern of love we see in your Son. Enable us to become a community of care for others in which people of every background find welcome and their wounds healed. May your presence in our midst be our constant guide. Amen.